morning you guys, right, just a quick video, um, <coughs> so, part of an ever uh, for the night, may or may not have broke down, uh, truck runs, and drives and everything, but the dashboard is lit up, like a Christmas tree, worse than a daff, um, so yeah, that's where we're up to right now. I've run Volvo, uh, they won't be up until the morning, uh, well it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow, so I I just cannot go anywhere. Uh, it's a 500 brake horsepower trek on the road, so he is. I'm maybe lucky if I can get full turn out of it. Um, so the massive powertrain issue, or what I think is a powertrain issue, it might just be an electronic component fault. Uh, so hopefully Volvo can fix that. So I'm taking me 34 hours off, and uh, hopefully Thursday we can get back out on the roads. Um, today's been a bit of a mental day, uh, so has the last few days actually. So sorry this morning at uh, at 8 a.m. it is now uh, 5 to 9. Oh, I've just locked off for the day. Um, we uh, so do my drop Saturday, Sunday, which is when things went wrong. Uh, so my final drop was a Walmart in uh, uh, Lake and. Uh, they refused to create the load because I was too early. So I turned up the fellow this morning uh, for the time they told me to come in for. Despite my paperwork saying it's an open booking. <coughs> oh. And uh, yeah. And they then tried to reject the load and I was sat on a bay for just under six hours <laughs> so in social for that last drop I was sat there for 25 just over 25 hours about 25 and a half hours I was there for um, didn't record the uh, Multi drop, I took a bit of a break from being on the cameras. Uh, obviously, I was still working. Um, I just thought, you know what? I've got content all the way up till the end of October, including this video here. Uh, got a new bit of gear. Um, you can tell, it's a new gear stick. Feels and moves a lot better. I need to get the Allen games raise it up a little bit because it's a little bit low for my liking so I raise it up a bit. Uh, but it feels so much better. It's a lot more comfortable on my hands. Nowhere near as sore now compared to what it was like when I had the ball. The uh, default, the original cover which was like that. Um, anyway I thought I'd just uh, let you guys know of what's been going on. Um, this is where I'll join much of me uh, running to a collection I had. Uh, which one will be interesting. See about that, I'm going to have to go that bit. But anyway, uh, here's a quick time lapse of me running over to a collection uh, in Kennewick. I got a little bit interesting. I may or may not have got a little bit lost. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs>
go around the time lapse there. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you've got any comments, queries, or concerns, let me know by commenting in the comment section below. Until next time, keep safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Alright, guys, just for you, you click on another video, before I just mention about the new essential trucker's handbook by Malcolm Green, this book is absolutely ram packed with everything from ADR to taco regulations or tachograph regulations, weights, strapping, roping and sheeting, everything you need to know is within this book. If you're interested in guess one, there's a link in my video description to where you can buy one. Cheers guys, bye!